Hi, it's Captain Mike here with another video, uh, a basic video uh, for using your microwave kiln. Today we're going to um, show you how you can take a piece of greenware or a slip cast cup in this case and biscuit or turn it to a ceramic in your microwave kiln. This is just a little cup that I made uh, uh, pouring slip, letting it dry, and that's all you have to do. And you do have to make sure this is bone dry. It is so cold here, it's difficult to tell that this is bone dry. So we're going to give it a shot anyway. The worst thing that can happen is it could crack. And I've only had that happen twice uh, in the entire time I've been making these things in the microwave kiln. Uh, I, I do that uh, when I just need a cup or two to experiment with some glazes of some sort. So anyway, you take the cup and you just place it on your kiln shelf in your microwave kiln. Put the top on it and close it. Now, I zap uh, these cups in, I have this little thousand watt microwave and uh, I have it set on high and I zap it for three minutes and at the end of three minutes I'll check it to see how it's doing okay first three minutes are up let's see if we've got a cup that doesn't have a crack in it and just how it's doing that's really the only reason for checking this out is just to check it see so we'll kind of I know I'm in the way here. Uh, looks like it's doing pretty good. So we're going to close it back up. And we're going to zap her for another three minutes. Stand by and I'll see you guys in about three minutes. Okay, that was a pretty fast three minutes. Uh, so we'll just check it again. I know this is about as exciting as washing ice melt, but it's necessary. We'll check our cup. It hadn't even started to get really hot yet. It may take a while. Normally it takes about 15 minutes to do things in this microwave, but I can't remember since the last time that I did a bisque job how long it took. So we're going to put another three minutes in it and we'll check it again. This makes a total of nine minutes on this particular piece. So let's get one of these, do one of these real quick three minute things again. Okay. After nine minutes, let's see what we have. Ah, beginning to heat up a little bit. So we're going to go right at it. Y'all stick with me. Don't want to lose my audience here. But uh, I think it's important that you check it until you're comfortable with what your microwave will do and what your greenware will take time of year, humidity, all that good stuff. It's important that you check it regularly. So here we go for another three minutes. This is a grand total of 12. It should be heating up pretty good. Thank you. The microwave kiln is getting hot, but I don't think the piece is ready yet. So we're going to hit it again just to make sure and uh, then we'll let this thing cool if I deem it to be close enough to being ready to be ceramic. It needs to, the piece needs to be red hot. Once it turns kind of red hot, it's, uh, it's suitable uh, to let cool, and it will be bisque. It might not be the best bisque, but it will be good. The problem here is you can't control the temperature. So kind of like doing... Uh, uh, pit firing where you've got a great big fire outside and you build a fire over the pots and hope the heck they don't bust. It's sort of the same thing only I don't have any smoke in this building. Okay, let's check it out one more time here. I know this is boring all of y'all to death. I'm going to cut most of it out probably. But let's get in here. It's getting awfully hot and hard to handle. So we're going to have to look. I'm going to hit it one more time. The piece is becoming cherry red. I'm going to hit it for three more minutes, and that is going to be it. We'll let it cool, show it to you, and then we'll get on to the next project, which is going to be you can glaze in the microwave oven. 
But uh, let us go ahead and hit this thing for the last three minutes. Hopefully, I'll pronounce it done. Okay, let's see what we got here. Like y'all, I'm getting a little tired of doing this, but you know, hey, it's gotta be done. And I am going to bless it. I don't, it probably could take some more. Uh, let's see what we got here. If I can get a little closer picture in here. Oh, we'll zoom right on into that right there. And kind of show you what I'm talking about. There's a lot of the glow is coming from the microwave oven. But this is what I'm talking about. See, she's glowing on the bottom. She's glowing on top. All right. The best thing to do now is just let this thing cool. Now, I'll come back to you when it's cooled, and I'll show it to you. And if I think there's anything else that I need to tell you, I'll tell you then. Thank you all for watching. Okay, here we are. <clears throat> and I'm going to show you the bisque cup. Still hot. So I'm not going to pick it up with my hands. Well, I'm going to get a glove so I can support it. Okay. And if the camera will pick that up and focus on it, I don't know whether it'll focus on it or not. Come on, camera, focus on that. I don't want camera focus on that. All right, well, we'll do it down here then. You can see it just as well. And it is bisque. And it rings. So that was a successful bisque firing in the microwave kiln. So what I'm going to do next is... Uh, show you how you can glaze a, uh, a piece that you have bisque in your microwave kiln. I'll show you how you can glaze it.